So as we begin, the first exercise uh, and the most and one of the most mild exercises that we can do is a knee hug. And I simply grab my knee on the top of my shin and I bring the leg up into my shoulder and then I like to let it relax. I bring it up and I let it relax. If this causes knee pain, you can always come underneath your knee and still get the same stretch. Bring it up and let it relax. I like to do this about three to five times and I like to hold it about three seconds the first time, maybe five seconds the second time, and then increase it up to five and seven seconds, and then I go to the other leg. Now as you try the knee hug, and you find you cannot get the knee up to your shoulder because you have some pain in your lower back region, then I would continue to do the exercise very mildly. Don't go through the pain, just go till you feel the stretch. And probably, more than likely, is as you're able to increase the flexibility, you'll find that your back will improve. The knee hug is one of the very best exercises because I can do it anywhere. I can open my car door you know, and stick my foot on the ground and do a knee hug. I can sit down at the mall on any park bench and do a knee hug. If I'm at home, however, I can get a lot more benefit out of a knee hug by lying on the floor or on a bed and bringing my knee up to my chest as I'm lying on the ground and I'll actually get more flexibility in that hip and more stretch in the low back. So if I'm out and about, I like the knee hug sitting up. But if I'm at home where I can lie down, I like the knee hug from a lying, <coughs> lying on the bed or on the table. 